Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I hope you guys enjoyed the beautiful October weather. I know we had amazing weather here in Wisconsin. Yesterday, Friday, it was like 77 degrees. It was beautiful. Yesterday it was gorgeous out too. Today it's a little chillier here. But that's fall and it could snow at any moment. So don't don't hold your breath. It can go from really nice to freezing cold, just like that. <laughs> That's Wisconsin. Hi, Mary Lynn. Hi, Debbie. Bonnie's here. Welcome, everybody. So, I've had quite a week. <laughs> I got lots of stuff to tell you. Hi, Sue. Jean, welcome. Um, hmm. Let's see. What are we going to talk about? Oh, last weekend I was gone. Thank you guys so much for all the kind comments you left on my Facebook Live, not live. Um, I always enjoyed doing those for you, and I thought the projects were really fun, right? Yeah. And we went to Michigan last weekend. We had so much fun there. I went with my friend Dina. We went to a demonstrator creative event, and um, unbeknownst to me, I also got pulled up to be in a question and answer panel. So my friend Dina was a presenter there. She had a topic that she presented on uh, about her Stampin' Up! business. And uh, then we all got pulled up. Me and like four other people, Dina and a few other girls all got pulled up for a question and answer panel. And I thought, I'm so glad I didn't know about that ahead of time. Because anytime I'm a presenter at a stamping event, you know, you have to write an outline. You have to think about what you're going to say. You're a little tense. You don't want to get up in front of a big crowd of people. There were like 50 people there and look like an idiot, right? <laughs> I'm always worried about that. But um, it was nice because our little question and answer thing was impromptu. And so um, the Rhonda is the person who was doing the whole event for the weekend. She's like, I'm going to have you guys come up tomorrow. And I'm like, oh, okay. And so, of course, I didn't have to prepare. So that was really nice. You guys may notice. Let me smile for you. I got a crooked smile, right? The other thing is that this eye doesn't blink. <laughs> the COVID continues for me. <laughs> it seems like I am having every side effect under the book. I have had so many weird things happen to me since I've been better. And this week, I actually went to the doctor yesterday. I started with a really sore throat. Like there was just a little spot inside my throat that was killing me and it was super hard to swallow. And um, that turned into stabbing pains in my throat right there. And that was weird, right? But you know, you just push through it. And then all of a sudden the stabbing pains went up to my ear and it felt like somebody was jamming an ice pick in my ear. And I would go, oh, like this, like every... Five or ten minutes, I was like this. And I'm like, oh my lord. Got really bad Friday night. So Saturday I got up and it wasn't better. And I went to the doctor and I have fluid in my middle ear. And please bear with me because I'm terrible about knowing all this medical stuff. Like it goes in one ear, the fluid ear, and out the other. Not fluid of the brain. <laughs> Just fluid in my ear. And so when I... Friday, I noticed that my lips didn't go together right. It feels like I went to the dentist and they're all numb. And when I went to brush my teeth, I, I took my glass of water to rinse my teeth out and I'm like this and water's like flying out the side of my mouth because I can't squeeze my lips together. <laughs> and then my eye won't blink. So Friday, my face was swollen, and that's how I knew because my lips wouldn't go together. My eye isn't shutting right, and I'm like, what in the heck is going on? And um, you guys remember, like, a couple weeks ago, my inside eyelid swelled up, and it hurt really bad. Well, now the outside and my whole face is swollen. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Connie. <laughs> and um, so I went to the doctor, and he said I have fluid in my middle ear or whatever, whatever that is. And then tonight... My phone, do you guys get those news um, news notices on your phone that pops up with some, some um, what do I want to call it, like, I want to say rushing news, but breaking news, that's it, breaking, breaking news. So I get this news break that comes up on my phone, and it's talking about the side effects of corona is hearing loss and problems with your middle ear. 
Like, are you kidding me? Seriously? <laughs> so, I know I look like I'm having a stroke. I know, Diana just said, almost like a stroke. I know, that's what my kids thought because I took a Snapchat and I sent them to them and I'm like, what in that is going on? And they're like, stroke! And I'm like, no, I don't think so. But anyways, I did go to the doctor and get it checked out. I'm not having a stroke. I My face is swollen over here. It's the weirdest darn thing. But anyhow, enough about my problems. My mother is sick with the Rona. And my sister just messaged me today, said she's doing better. She just was sick. She um, has been sleeping a lot. And she said the exhaustion is just crazy. Boy, don't I know it. That's what I complained about too. So she's been down for probably about a week, maybe a week and three days. And she's turning the corner now. So thank God she's 75 years old. And uh, we worry about that, right? I just hope she doesn't get all these crazy side effects that I'm having. Yeah. Francie said the COVID is terrible, especially for someone who has contracted it. Yeah, it, it just seems to never give in. So I told my mom, maybe we need to get together and have a Rona exorcism. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> I know, right? I want my face to smile on this side too, but it won't. <laughs> Anyhow, I wanted to give you a John update. Um, John got the window in the back of his work van fixed, so that's all taken care of. I'm kind of wondering if after doing that three times, he has to maybe pay a portion of it. I don't know. <laughs> and then I saw John walking his dog the other day. He has this really pretty dog. It's a big dog. It looks like a golden retriever, but it has white under its chest, like a collie kind of. So I don't know what kind of dog it is. I don't know what its name is. I should ask him sometime, but it's really pretty. That's my John update. Window fixed, walked his dog. Boom. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, what else? Let's see. Oh, I wanted to show my gifts that I got. Hang on. Oh, I'll show you one of them right here. I'm going to mirror my screen for you so you are not looking at things backwards. So just hang tight for a second. Let's see if I can do this without messing things up. Did it do it? There we go. Look at this cutie patootie. I think I want to show you guys how to make something like this. It's got the balmy blue glimmer paper in it. And Rhonda said she bought a font and made this little sign and cut it out with our Stitch So Sweetly dies. Put some of our glitter ribbon around it. And it's it's on a little easel. And I, so I got it sitting back here. Isn't it just cute? But this frame is made from cardstock. It's not like a wooden frame. It is cardstock. And it's so, so cool. So I think we might have to investigate that and learn how to make that. But I'm gonna keep it right back there because I think it's really pretty. Oh, you guys can't even see over there, can you? Let me move you over there. Oh, wrong way. There you go. I'm gonna keep it right up here. And do you perhaps notice that um, my office is looking a little less cluttered? Yeah, so I have a tip video coming out on Wednesday where I show you, I give you a tour of my room and the complete the d disaster that it was. And then at the end of the video, I show you the cleanup. So I love before and afters of anything. I just, I don't know why they enthrall me. I like to look at before and after pictures of people, of rooms, of houses, of yards, of whatever. So I'll be sharing with that with you in my Wednesday tip video. I didn't make a tip video this last week because I just kind of got bogged down a little bit overwhelmed with all the deadlines that I was hitting this week. So you'll have a good one next week and I've already made one for the week after. Yay! Don't forget my Wednesday tip video has a joke of the week so you always want to check that out too. And let's see, I don't know if I told you guys we're having Molly here two days a week now so she comes over and does her schoolwork here. I think it's a good environment for her because there's not a lot going on here usually except Tuesday we're getting a new furnace. They put my new windows in. I got a great big huge picture window in the living room and my two bedroom windows in the bedroom, our master bedroom that we just remodeled. So that was really exciting. Um, one of the guys was over today uh, finishing the flashing on the outside because we're supposed to get rain. So I was grateful for that, right? And then I wanted to let you guys know, for those of you that ordered my Arrange a Wreath class, those went out in the mail last week. And um, I had several of you contacting me, asking me what happened because you got a message from PayPal that the shipping was canceled. <laughs> Just know that when, you, and people have asked me this before because I've done this before, but I actually forgot to put some stuff in the envelope and I printed out all the labels for all the kits and I needed two more ounces in them. So I had to void every single one of them 
and reprint all of the shipping labels and 14 clicks for one person. Click here, click there, click here, click there. 14 clicks for every person. I just wanted to rip my hair out. So if you ever get a message that your shipping has been canceled, just know that things are not going well here in Kelly's office. That's what's happening. It took me two and a half hours to print all those labels and void them all over again. So just know that's what's happening. Um, what else? 12 weeks of holidays. I've got a little note here. You guys, I do a 12 weeks of holidays. A lot of demonstrators do a 12 weeks of Christmas in a newsletter that we send out one every week now until Christmas. Well, I'm doing the 12 weeks of holidays because I also have Halloween, fall ideas, Christmas ideas, and Valentine's Day in there. And my first um, 12 weeks of holidays went out on Thursday, I think. So for those of you that got it, yay you, adorable. Um, it was something that I shared. It was a Halloween, the Halloween projects that I shared with you guys last week. But the cool thing is there's a printable, um, oh, there's all the instructions, ingredients, dimensions, everything listed in a project sheet in my newsletter. So that's really nice, right? And the rest of them are going to be exclusive. You won't have seen them on my blog or anything, but I've got um, a couple more fall, a bunch of Christmas, and a Valentine's idea. When I get done tonight, I'm going to put on here newsletter so I don't forget. I will add my newsletter link to this Facebook page. You can click on there and sign up for my newsletter so that you'll get the 11 weeks of holidays, the rest of them. And if you want to, you can email me and get that first one. But it is the projects that I shared last week, just so you know. Okay, the other thing that I did this week is I have been sharing some exclusive content on my Facebook VIP page. I talked about this a little bit last week. The VIP page is a special page for anyone who has placed an order in my online store. That does not include ordering online classes from me or kit classes. It must be an order in my online store. And once you do that, you will get admitted into this VIP group where last week I was sharing some exclusive project sheets and projects and I went in and did a live video making a gorgeous fall card. I know you guys will just love it. So if you would like to get into that VIP group, all you have to do is place an order with me. If you have any questions about that, pop me an email. And oh, Connie says she loves to do the 12 weeks of holidays. Yay, I do too. Hang on, I got a little dry spot in my throat, but it's not sore anymore. Just saying. I've gotten a little reprieve from that. Um, I also have a new online class. If, you're, if you were on my page earlier today, you saw that I just posted my online class. My online class is what we're going to be working with tonight. I'm going to show you some couple beautiful cards using the Snowflake Wishes. And I'm looking for my dies here. Oh, here they are. Also the so many snowflake dies and I'll show you all of these when we get rolling with our projects. So we've got snowflake wishes, the snowflake splendor designer series paper, which is so beautiful. I love it when the paper is so beautiful. It does all the work for you. Also included in my online class is the blue adhesive backed rhinestones or gems. I mean, these are so pretty iridescent and the snowflake splendor iridescent ribbon. And before we get going too far, I wanted to mention to you, I tried the Stampin' Blends on this ribbon. This ribbon is kind of a plastic type ribbon. And what I found is the Stampin' Blends would color it, but because of the plastic texture, it's a little rough, it kind of chewed up my marker end of my Stampin' Blends. And of course we know that's not good, so I quit doing that. Then what I did is I took an ink pad and a sponge and I sponged all this color on there. So I just tried a whole bunch of different colors and don't you just love this one? But even after you put the color on, this ribbon is still iridescent. It's absolutely gorgeous. So you can make it any color that you need it to be, which I love to be able to do that. And again, this is called the Snowflake Splendor Ribbon. It's part of my um, Snowflake Splendor online class, or you can get it, you know, you can get it yourself, but it is part of the class. Also, we have the Winter Snow Embossing Folder. It's part of the suite. I hope you can see. Let's see if I can get my lights over here. Uh, if I 
can even get it in here. Can you see the texture on there? Oh my goodness, it's so, so pretty. It's embossing folder. It's just a bunch of little snowflakes. What else is in there? Oh, glimmer paper. Hang on. We have the balmy blue glimmer paper. Absolutely gorgeous. This new glimmer paper that we have is so very nice. It does not shed glitter at all. So for those of you that are glitter haters, and I know I don't even know if we could be friends. <laughs> Just kidding. For those of you that hate glitter because it's messy, this does not shed at all. And it's a little bit thinner. The backing isn't real thick like we've had in the past. It die cuts like a dream. So get yourself. My online class comes with all of these products with option number one. And, whoa, sorry. Whew, that was loud. That was a punch that just fell. Um, you get all of these products with option number one. You also get the online class for free and the pre-cut cardstock pack for free as long as I still have them available. They will be guaranteed until, um, what did I say? until it's on my website the week of the 19th is when I'm going to be sending these kits out I've got a I've got a jump start on this you guys are gonna be so amazed I have the project sheets for all nine cards typed up photos are done edited put in the project sheets I've got all the videos made I am on number two video for editing and uploading to YouTube rock on <laughs> this never happens but I want to go hunting on Wednesday. So Wednesday to Friday or so, I'd like to go hunting. So I need to work ahead. So I was killing it yesterday and today, even with the ice pick in the ear and the droopy face. <laughs> so $120 buys you the entire suite of products and you get the pre-cut cardstock in the online class for free. Then if you don't want the entire sweet because you maybe already have it you can get the online class but here's the new thing that we're doing the online or I'm sorry the online class with the pre-cut cardstock pack is going to come with a pack of the gems and a pack of the um, snowflake splendor ribbon you're gonna get fifteen dollars in product included in your pre-cut cardstock pack for forty five dollars or if you're international you can still buy the online class for me for 20 bucks so I do have an international option also so that is my snowflake splendor online class I have another kit class for the month of October we are going to be using let's see if I can find my catalog here it is Brr, hang on we're going to be using the sweetest times bundle Ashley and I for our online class in October and we already have that rolling and this is the dies and the stamp set and all I can't see what I'm doing all the goodies this is the sweetest time this is going to be our kit class for the month that kit is going to be $51 and if you'd like to add on the um, whoops, stamp set and the dies it is an additional $55 so you can choose to get whatever you want. One thing I want to talk tell you about on this um, Snowflake Splendor online class, I now have an option on there where you can add anything you want to your order. The online class that I'm doing, when you order option number one for $120, the whole bundle, that gets shipped directly to you from Stampin' Up! Okay, so you can add on as much product as you want. I will send you a PayPal invoice for your balance due over the $120 or whatever it happens to be. You just pay that and I'll have anything you want shipped to you. You need to put in the item code, the name of the product, and the price because I don't want any mistakes on this, right? I don't want to misinterpret something that you say on there. I need all three. Item code, name, price. But you can add anything you want to the Snowflake Splendor. I'll be happy to order that from you, for you and have it shipped directly to you. Now, with the um, Sweetest Time, this is a kit. This is different. I will be ordering all the stamp sets and dies if you choose to add those to the kit, and those will go out with your kit. So, um, you know, if you want to add some extra things to your order with this kit, you certainly can, but it's not included on the order form. You'll need to email me, and I can certainly do that too. I'm here to please. <laughs> okay, I think we are done. I've got some mail to share with you. Oh, hang on. I wanted to show you my gifts. 
I love being a part of Stampin' Up! events. They are super duper fun. So at this event that we went to in Michigan, we got a Be Creative mug. Isn't that cute? I love the hot pink. I have had this Be Creative t-shirt. I love this. It's one of the um, like baseball sleeves. It's super soft and comfortable. These are some of the things that we can get or come with the class. This was my name tag sitting on the table. We were all spaced out more than six feet apart. There was only one person at each table. So usually this event can hold 100 people, but due to social distancing, it could only hold 50 people. So that's what we did. We were good. We behaved ourselves. Here is a notebook that we got that I took a whole bunch of, whoops, let's see if I can get a whole bunch of notes in because this was a training for Stamping Up Demonstrators. And a lot of times discount shoppers go to these trainings too because there's a lot of creative stuff going on. We made a lot of cards. Um, I don't usually make my cards at these events. I will bring them home and make them for you. But I have all of these packets that I'm going to be sharing with you probably on my VIP group, making up all these projects from this Michigan event. We also got some of our gems. These were all things included. Um, the beautiful red and green ribbon came in our pack. Got a sponge. I had, oh shoot, the flower fell off. Hang on, I wrecked it. It's really hard to get things home, you know that, right? I don't know how this goes in here, but meh. Oh, it just sticks on there. Look at this cute little thing. Isn't that adorable? It's a sucker in there. <laughs> I thought somebody gave this to me, and I don't know her name, but I just thought this was so adorable. And what else? Oh, we got one of those little cups that go with the cocoa stuff. So we got some little marshmallows. I'll be sharing that with my VIPs here in the next, I don't know, couple weeks or so. And all of these packets that I get to make up for you. Most people make these things at the event, but me and Dina, you know, we're like this all the time. We don't have time. But I've got some gorgeous cards here to share with you. We'll also be making those in the VIP group. Let's see. Here's another project. Yeah, everything is cut in here and ready to roll. And then look at this cute little bag. All that stuff came in this cute little bag, and it's a little lunch bag. Be creative. Isn't that sweet? So, yeah, I love going to demonstrator events. Now, how can you go to demonstrator events? Well, you can join my team if you're not already a discount shopper, and I would be happy to share this information with you to be able to go to all these things that Stampin' Up! demonstrators are having. We did have to drive a long ways. I also got an exclusive Hostess set. This is the Hostess set that is in the back of our mini catalog. It's called a Merry Hello. And between now and the end of the month, if you place a $150 order with me, I will be sending you a free Merry Hello stamp set. What do you think? It's a pretty good deal, right? Free stamp set. Okay, between now and October 31st, we're going we're gonna to do that little promotion. And remember, at $150 retail, you get to add $15 in Stampin' Rewards to get anything you want. So you get an additional $15 on there. Okay, let me set this stuff aside. <coughs> Are you guys ready to stamp? Let me put my punch back that fell on my table that almost gave everybody a heart attack. That's not good, right? Oh, we're going to move this too. Okay. It seems crazy to be thinking about Christmas cards already, but I know as stampers, we need to get this stuff ready, don't we? We need to get this done and ready to roll. So we're going to start on some Christmas cards. Um, one thing that I really, really love, hang on, I'm coming back. I'm going to be back. <laughs> one thing that I really, really love about a snowflake bundle like this is you can use it for anything. You can make Christmas cards. I love to make winter cards. And you can do that with a snowman set. You can do that with a snowflake set like this one. You can make get well cards. You can make anniversary cards. You can make birthday cards. You can make sympathy cards. You can make any occasion cards with snowflakes as long as you're giving them in the winter. Now, I'm not going to send those out in July, right? 
But um, I love that you have that versatility and it's just about the season and you can switch it up with anything that you want. So, hang on a second, my nose is itchy. Um, I'm gonna unmirror my screen now, you guys, because when I turn it around, I don't want it to be backwards. There we go, I did it. Yay, we didn't disconnect anybody. Um, is it 150 order at one time or total during the month? Um, Sandra, I think total during the month is fine. If you want to place a couple different orders or maybe you already ordered with me and you could add to that to get to $150, that's fine. Um, email me to say, Kelly, I just placed a second order. I will go through my reports and look at things, but I don't want to miss anybody, right? Because that's not cool. <laughs> yeah, Rose says here in Wisconsin, we have winter like six months. Exactly. It's the other thing. I don't want to dribble. <laughs> Sucking on my straw. I'm going to pull you guys up on my screen here so that I can see the comments when I flip you around. Oh, somebody had a baby. Marsha Carol Carlson. Marsha had a baby. A boy or girl? We need to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Little Miss Val stopped over today. I got to hug and squeeze her. Oh my gosh, she stopped over the other day too and she's just a hoot. She's like crawling all over the place. She is going to get up and run any day. I'm not even kidding you. And she's only five months old. <laughs> it's so crazy. Okay, I'm going to find my live here. I found it. We're going big. I've got my speaker off. Let's see if my comments come up. Last week or last time they did, but a couple times ago, I can't get my comments up on my screen. I don't know what that's all about, but I'm going to close that out and open up a new Facebook page. Bear with me, please. I'm sorry. It's a girl, Madeline. Oh, I love that name, Madeline. Yeah. Kelly, what was that about the VIP thing? Who just asked me that? Chris Wood did. If you've ever placed an order with me, I have a group called A Stamp Above VIPs. And you can go on Facebook and do a search and see if you're in that group because it'll let you in if you've been added to it. The way that you get into it is by placing an order with me. And that is an order in my online store. That's not an online class or a kit class. You need to go to my store and place an order and then you can get into my VIP group. And Betty just said watching... Um, can a demonstrator be in your VIP group? Betty, that's a great question. As long as you place an order with me, you cer certainly can. I do not discriminate. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pull up uh, my video here again to try and see if I can see the comments on the side because you know I'm a lazy stamper. I do not want to stand up. What was the package class with the holiday paper? This is called Snowflake Splendor, and this is my newest online class. You'll find it on my blog. It's the very first thing on my blog right now. I just posted something about it right here in this group uh, about an hour ago today, too. So if you scroll on the page, you'll be able to see what I put there. Yeah, and I don't see my messages aren't coming in here. So I'm probably going to have to stand up or I'm not going to see what you guys are saying to me, which makes me sad. Okay, we're going to flip around and start stamping. I think I've yacked long enough, don't you? <laughs> it's time to get busy. Hang on, we're gonna flip the phone around. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I will let you know when it is time to open them up. And does it look blurry to you guys? Looks a little blurry to me. Okay, you can open your eyes. All right, I'm gonna take my jacket off because I'm starting to have a hot flash because my messages aren't coming up on my computer screen. <laughs> oh, you know what? Oh, that's a little crooked. I don't like crooked. Hang on, I just got a new iPad. I'm going to turn that on and see if it works. Probably not. That's probably not going to work because I probably shouldn't tell you my code either, but I just did. Oh, it says finish setting up. I don't want to. Where's Facebook? There it is right there. Let's see if it'll log me in. Oh, I don't even know any of this stuff. Okay, so that's a bad idea. It's not going to work. <laughs> next time, guys. I'll have it up next time set it back there. I don't want to break it. I just got the darn thing. My friend Rachel was setting it up for me. Okay, here we go. We are going to be making a beautiful card. One of the fun things about being part of a team, whether you're a discount shopper or a business builder, is swapping. I love to do swaps. We have a team swap 
every month with my team. This month, there's 19 cards. So each person is going to make 19 identical cards, and then we swap them with each other. And I have to put my other glasses on. Hang on, because those glasses are from my computer screen. Yep, now I can see what you're saying. Okay, good deal. Um, so anyways, this was a swap card. I'm going to show you a swap card that I got from one of my very talented team members, Jody Peterson. Jody, if you're watching, oh my goodness, Jody is a phenomenal stamper. <clears throat> this is Misty Moonlight, one of our new in colors. It's five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm just going to fold that in, in half. And burnish that edge good. Then I've got two pieces of Whisper White. These are both four by five and a quarter. And of course, one of them is going to be... What happened to my paper here? Look, it didn't stick. This is my crummy Amish tape. That's what it's usually pretty good for, but there we go. This is just a, one of our piercing mats, and it's covered with printer weight paper. So I don't stamp all over it, but I like this as my cushion for stamping. So we're going to decorate the inside of our card first. And... I am looking for an inside greeting. I think this will be our front greeting because I like the one that Jody used. And let's see, that says snowflake wishes. This says, on the coldest moments of the year, my heart is warm because you're near. Oh, I like that. Okay, so we're gonna use that for the inside. We're using Misty Moonlight ink. Really, really pretty color. It just reminds me of blue jeans. I love it. And then I want to do a few snowflakes. I'm going to grab this snowflake and this snowflake. Now let me go back here. I'll show you the stamp set. This is so beautiful. So beautiful. There's some beautiful greetings in here. This is one of the few stamp set covers that don't show the stamps at their full size. Like this Snowflake Wishes is actually this big. And usually our cover shows you the stamps at their full size. Also, this particular stamp is this big, which is much bigger than what's shown on here. But they didn't want to put these into two cases, so that's why. It used to be that our, our stamps were always shown at full size in here, and they're not sometimes. So I've got this, and then I want to use um, a bigger snowflake. I think we we'll do this one. I'm going to stamp that off once and then come in here and stamp it. And I just like the contrast. You've got a light color and a dark color there. And then we're going to do this one. I'm going to stamp that right up there. Isn't that pretty? I think that'll work. That's what we're going to do to the inside of our card. So the other thing that I want to do is I have these little scraps of the Balmy Blue Glimmer paper. This is included with the online class. And I thought, how pretty would it look if I just put these someplace inside our card? And I think I really like one right over here. So I'm going to snip this off a little bit, just like that. I'm going to add a little liquid glue to the back. Let's see, and oh, you might notice that I'm a little shakier than usual because I am completely hopped up on steroids. <laughs> I am taking 60 milligrams of prednisone a day for three days, and then I have to go down to two. I just got glue all over. And then I have to go down to one, and then I go back to my regular two and a half. I take two and a half milligrams every day for um, rheumatoid arthritis, which is probably why I got so sick from the COVID, is because I do have rheumatoid arthritis, and I guess my medical people tell me that is an attack on your immune system, so then the COVID was, you know, not good. Who knows? I don't know all this stuff, but you guys tell me, and somebody else told me that I should be, I think Debbie Spicer, who's a nurse type. <laughs> She's a retired nurse. I love all my retired nurses. Debbie told me <clears throat> that um, I should be writing down all these weird things that are happening to me because I've had certainly a lot of weird things. But Debbie, I'm ashamed to tell you that I haven't because I, that's just who I am. I'm not a good patient and... I'm not good at all that stuff, but I'd be happy to give you a list and <laughs> you can write it down. 
that's mean. Okay, next what we're going to do, we're going to take this other Whisper White layer and we're going to take this sentiment in the Misty Moonlight ink and we're going to put it right down here. Our friendship is one of a kind. I'm trying to read the comments here. Somebody just said something. Wow, you are probably cleaning everything. That's what happens to me. Cleaning? What you said? I don't clean. <laughs> you are probably cleaning. That is what you said. I don't know why I would be cleaning everything. <laughs> Sorry, it's really hard for me to read the messages, you guys. <laughs> but, <clears throat> yeah, no, I'm not cleaning things. I did clean my office, though, and it's amazing. All right, so next thing. <clears throat> I have a piece of designer series paper here. I love, love, love this blue watercolor snowflake pattern. It's just my favorite. And this is about two inches wide. It was just a scrap. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our... Um, <clears throat> paper trimmer and I'm going to cut this off at about four inches because we don't need I think I want to use this end cut it off at about four inches and again this oh that didn't work what's happening oh my um, cutter is in there there we go okay I'm like whoa wait a minute here's our paper oh Oh my lord. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little distracted. We're going to keep this paper in the paper trimmer over here. And then we are going to hang on a second cuz I just lost something. Where did it go? Oh my goodness, you guys. Hang on. Something is gone. Paper trimmer still here. I don't know where my card went. Isn't that funny? It was just here. Okay, take an intermission. I gotta find this. This is my card base that we just did, right? Okay, well, oh, it slid under my computer desk. Okay, we're back in business. Sorry, you guys, sorry for the delay. Okay, now we're gonna take this and I'm just gonna cut it at a slight slant. Just like that, okay? We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Cut it at a slight slant. And there's nothing scientific about this at all. It's just slanted. That, it looks absolutely perfect. It's just what, exactly what Jody did. Now, we're going to take this and we're gonna put it right about here, but we're not gonna do anything yet because we're gonna wiggle it around a little bit. I used a two and a quarter inch circle punch here. And that's going to come in and go right here. Okay. And then, uh, where's my dies? I wanted to show you all these dies that come in this pack. <clears throat> we have one, two, three, four, five, six different snowflakes. This is the same snowflake, but only we have an image you can stamp on it and die cut. And then we have these. This leaves a snowflake in your negative, right? So this is usually the part we would throw away, but this is what the image is. And this does the same thing. It cuts out a label with leaving all these little snowflakes on the side. And isn't that just beautiful? These are so, so pretty. So for this particular snowflake, I die cut this one right here out of Whisper White cardstock, and I've got that right there for you. And then I die cut this one right up here out of the Balmy Blue Glimmer Paper, and I have that right there. Let me put these away so I don't lose them. I know you guys are always really patient about me doing that, because you know it's so frustrating to lose things. Okay, so we are going to take this white and we are going to add the Glimmer Snowflake to that. And I found the best way that I like to add these snowflakes is using a little mini glue dot. And what I do is I curl it up. I use my Take Your Pick tool to curl it up into a little ball. And then I take it and put it in the center 
of my snowflake. See how that's right in the center? I don't want to see it through the other side. I'm going to bring my card in here so I can do this. And I'm sorry, you guys, I am sitting down again and I'm not seeing your comments, but I do go back through and read stuff. <laughs> and I will look at them when I'm done stamping. But, you know, stamping and doing all this stuff is really hard. It's a lot to keep track of. Okay, so we've got this. And then... We are going to take that and add it to the center of our two and a quarter inch circle. And I'm just going to use some glue on this, just in the center. That'll be more than adequate to do this. I'm going to put this in the center. I want to kind of make sure that I have the snowflake petals hanging over the same distance on all of the all of the edges there. And then I think I'm ready to go with this. So we're going to take this. I don't know what this style is called. Like it looks like almost a ray of light coming out of here, but I think it's really cool. So I'm going to put some glue right here. I'm going to put my little ray right there. Okay. I have some more of this. Oh, let's see. Do we have two of them here? No, these aren't the same size. I think we can use this thicker one. I'm going to take this, oh, maybe I want to do the thinner one. Let's see if it'll fit. This is like a little bit less than an eighth of an inch. And I don't know if that'll fit or not. Hang on, I'll tell you how long it is when I'm done here. So we got this one, goes right up to there. Oh yeah, this is plenty. Okay, so I'm gonna do this right here. I'm gonna take some a really thin line of glue and I'm going to add, I'm going to butt this right up against my designer paper. Okay, that'll make sure it's nice and straight. Then we're going to turn this over and we can cut all of this off. We're going to take this one and do the same thing. Add a really thin strip of glue down the side. I'm just going to push this all the way up there. So let's see, let's measure that so you know. That's four inches, five, six, about seven inches. That's an eighth inch or a little bit less than an eighth of an inch. Okay, so are you ready for this? We're going to put a little bit of our iridescent ribbon on the back of this. Jody did this and I thought it was so pretty. And I'm just going to cut that. We're going to put this on the back of our layer here. And I just kind of folded it over. I'm going to stick it down with some crummy Amish tape and add some dimensionals. We'll do one. Let's see, I want to see how this is going to go on here. Okay, so. We don't need that one over there. It matters where you put your dimensionals, so hang on. I got lots of them. <laughs> so this is going to go on our card kind of like this. So I'm going to put a dimensional up here. Uh, a dimensional over here. And a dimensional right about there. Okay, that's what I've got. I want these to be a little bit closer together. There we go. All right. Oh, that looks so nice. Now we're ready to add this to the front. And we're going to have this go off of our white piece just a little bit. See what I mean? It's hanging over. I need to trim these up. Just like that. I'm going to trim this little bugger off. And now I'm going to turn this over and trim this off. Now you could, of course, do this with just about any, any designer series paper. But ooh, I love this one. <laughs> and now we're ready to add it to our card front. Hang on, I'm low on ink in my printer and it keeps coming up. And I'm going to try to get my computer to work again. So I can see your comments. This is so frustrating. Oh, they're coming up underneath. Maybe I'll just stay right here. Okay, next, 
we have the beautiful gems. These are the blue adhesive backed gems. You can see I've used a lot of them because I just made nine cards for the online class today. So I'm going to grab one of these darker colored ones. We have dark, dark blue and light blue in big and small. I'm going to add this right to the middle of my snowflake. And then I'm going to grab a small one and add it right up here, just kind of randomly. And then I'm going to grab one more and put it right down here. Oh my goodness, is that not beautiful? That is beautiful. And now, as I'm thinking about this, you guys, I think that I forgot something that is equally as beautiful. Hang on a second. We definitely need a matching envelope because this card is holy cow. As long as it's two and a half inches wide, that'll work fine. And I'm going to add this to the back of my envelope. Let me get all my little mess cleaned up here. And I do see comments coming underneath my video. It's so weird. You know, Facebook did a little update and I hate it. Does anybody else hate it? Ugh, it's horrible. Because things aren't working right. They're just, and plus, I make a bunch of training videos for my team. And some of them are based on things that happen on Facebook. And now I have to go and make new training videos because Facebook changed everything. So I usually do training videos that have a step by step, you know, how do you find my Facebook Live? How do you find files that I share to our team Facebook group? Stuff like that. So now I have to go in and update those. And I think I'll work on those while I'm at my mom's house over the next few days. I'm going up there hunting and to check on her with the COVID. You know, I've already had the COVID, so I can't get it at least for a little while. Look at how pretty that is. <gasps> is it not just gorgeous, you guys? Jody, you are a rock star girlfriend. You have just made my day with this beautiful card. Okay. We are, I'm looking at comments right now. When I take steroids, I don't, don't <laughs> went to bed last night at nine o'clock. Steve made me. He's like, you are going to bed. I don't like all this. <laughs> he doesn't like when I'm sick. And I don't, I really, I just do not get sick. So I, this would get my butt. But, um. And I woke up, and I got up, and I'm like, oh, I have to go to the bathroom as normal, you know. And then I went to the bathroom, and when I came back from the bathroom, I was thinking, because I didn't look at the clock, I was thinking, oh my gosh, it must be about 6 a.m., which I would never get up at 6 a.m. I usually get up about 8.30 or so. And I'm like, oh, I can get up really early today. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled program. Four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored it at five and a half. This is our Whisper White Thick cardstock. So I got back from the bathroom and I looked at the alarm clock on Steve's nightstand. It was 1.52. <laughs> and I thought it was like six in the morning. Oh my goodness, it took me forever to get back to sleep. Not gonna lie. And uh, yeah, I did go back to sleep. I got up about seven, I would say. Okay, so now I gotta decide. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to decide which sentiment I wanna use. Oh, I know which one, I wanna use this one. Okay, so here's our card base. I also cut this size, so it's the one that goes nests inside here. These are the stitched nested labels. Highly recommend these if you don't have them. This is a very trendy shape right now. These are fabulous dies. They are not part of the Snowflake die set, but I do use them in the pre-cut cardstock pack. And they're already die cut for you because if they're not included in these dies, then I die cut them for you. That's one of the benefits of ordering a pre-cut cardstock pack. It's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna use the same color ink again. And I'm going to stamp the 
may your season sparkle right on this label. Ooh, that turned out beautiful, didn't it? And then, let's see. Um, we've got Coastal Cabana. So, let me find Coastal Cabana. My friend Dina says this is the color that tells us that God loves us. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> She's so funny. Okay, so we've got that. Oh, let's do this. I'm going to take this little snowflake and I'm going to stamp it off and I'm going to put it right on there. Stamp it off and put it right on there. We'll see if I like this. <laughs> oh, and by the way, we're making this card on the fly. Like I've made a card with this layout before, but I haven't figured out exactly what I'm doing with this particular card yet. Now we're going to take our paper cutter and oh, I see so many comments coming in. <laughs> Geraldine says she agrees with Tina and she loves pretty peacock too. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, it was funny. Um, let's see, Mary said that she used prednisone for a really bad cough. And I know exactly what you're saying, Mary. I was really shocked that prednisone is what he wanted me to take for my middle ear fluid. And then one of my bear hunting friends messaged me because word gets around really fast. I was talking to one of the girls up there and then one of the guys messaged me and said, I heard you have fluid on the brain. <laughs> laughed and laughed. Okay, I'm putting this in here to one inch. We're going to cut up here to the score line. We're going to cut one inch. You don't want to go over that, so you got to kind of check it, hold it in place, make sure that you get it all the way up there, but don't go over that score line. And then we're going to do the same thing. So we got this going on, and now we're going to do the same thing over here. And the card that I'm showing you is one that I made, but I do believe this design also belongs to Jody Peterson. So Jody is our hero tonight. Okay, so now this is what we have. Okay, so one inch on each side up to the score line. Remember, there's going to be still photos, all the dimensions and everything on my blog as soon as I can get it done after we're finished tonight. I always add all those things to the blog in case you want to see still photos because I know some of you are watching on your phones. It's really hard to see pictures and whatever because your, your area is so small. So these two outside pieces we're actually going to glue down. Just like that. Just like that. Boom. Now we're going to take a Coastal Cabana layer and this one is two and an eighth by five and three eighths. We're going to add this to the front inside panel. And there's just going to be a tiny little sixteenth of an inch margin around this layer on the white layer. Okay. And then we've got two strips of Coastal Cabana. These are both 7 eighths inches by 5 and 3 eighths, same size as, same length, I should say, as the middle layer. I'm going to put this one right here. Now you guys know that I'm kind of all about the layers, right? I love a lot of layers on my cards because, first of all, cardstock, it, it's not that expensive, right? It adds way more than the, the pain you feel in your pocketbook when you add layers to a card. And I think you can have like a real plain little ho-hum card, but as soon as you start adding a ton of layers to it, it is spectacular. And now I've got designer series paper. This is the pool party that looks kind of just like somebody spilled water drops all over it. This is three quarters by five and a quarter. So we're gonna add that. It's gonna have that little 16th inch margin around it on both sides and oh you know what you guys I forgot to do prizes we're gonna do that as soon as I'm done stamping right before we do um, the mail <laughs> I forgot to award prizes and then this piece is two by five and a quarter and I, I encourage you to use this layout play around with the different patterns of this designer paper because they're all so beautiful each one of your cards is going to look really different these are so so pretty okay next thing where did our label go right here okay so our label is going to go right down here 
and hang on a second while I'm thinking a little bit. Um, I think we're going to put some dimensionals on here. Where's my dimensionals? No, 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 no. Does anybody see them? Where'd they go? I know they're here somewhere. Because I just, oh, they're right here, you guys. Holy cow. So we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of this layer. Whoops. But you know what? Before we do that, I want to add some ribbon. Remember, we're stamping on the fly here. So sometimes this could be rather dangerous. I think I'm going to do this little cancer bow. I really kind of like this. And we're going to put this on, yep, that's what we're going to do. Put this right on our layer. Got some crummy Amish tape. Add that to the back. Yep, I like that a lot. Do you guys like it? Don't forget to share my video. If you're watching, you can click on that share button right now and share it right to your timeline. I had somebody um, contact me this week and say, Kelly, I don't know where to share this to. When you click on share, you just click share now and it'll go right to your timeline. And that way maybe I can get some extra customers because I always appreciate the shares. Word of mouth is the best way to share things with people, right? I'm gonna put this right here. Oh my goodness, what do you guys think? Now I'm wondering, some of these gems, do you think? These are really, really blue. I don't know if I want to do, maybe, no, I don't think I do. I think that that's good. I think we're going to leave it right there. May your season sparkle. And, oh, <laughs> you guys know what I did? <gasps> oh my goodness. I put my dimensionals on too far out on that label. <laughs> Look it. That won't work. We're going to peel that off. You know what, this reminds me of the window behind me. Like I made this office, like I redid all the walls. <laughs> Don't put your dimensionals out here. So this is, whoops, I got it crooked now. I'm gonna put some more dimensionals on here. Hang on, we're gonna pop this up. So um, I made this office that I'm in. Like I made all of the wood molding, cut the wood molding and installed it around the doors and the floor and the windows. One of the things that I did was I put the nail in for the wood molding around the window behind me and I accidentally put it too close to the inside edge and I couldn't open my window because I nailed it shut. <laughs> and that's what happens when you are not a professional carpenter. Professional carpenters know these things. I did not. What do you guys think? Is that so pretty? And I think I would just like to do maybe a little, how about some of these little snowflakes? I'm gonna stamp off once, and I'm just gonna do some little snowflakes down here. Just that. Isn't that just pretty? Little embellishment in there. You can write in here, you could add another, um, another um, sentiment. And as I'm looking at this, I realize that I used the misty moonlight for my sentiment. And I think that looks okay. I didn't intend to do that. But I think it looks fine, right? What do you guys think? I'm thinking I like it. Oh, Wink of Stella. Now there's an idea. Huh, let's try that. Okay, I think, where are we going to do that at? Should we do it around the edge of this like, and around this before, like this? It's easy because you have the stitched die cut right there to keep you in the lines, or should I say outside of the lines. Oh my gosh. This might be just a brilliant idea. Now I know you guys probably can't see that, but I can see that sparkle on there, and it is really pretty. Let me do a little bit right here on the inside of my snowflake. Oh, love it. Thank you very much for that suggestion. Rhinestones. Ooh, I like that one too. You guys are full of great ideas tonight. Let's do some rhinestones. Got lots of those. We'll do one. How about right? Oops, right there. And then how about a little one right up here? And then I'm thinking I want just maybe one more right there. I always do it in um, odd numbers. 
That was brilliant. Thank you, Terry. Very, very pretty. All right, now, before I go any further, we also need to decorate an envelope, right? Let's see. Here's our really pretty paper. And I'm going to bring in my trimmer. Let me get this closed up before ooh, I drop it on my card, right? Get these all put away. And again, I'm going to do two and a half. Make sure when you're ordering your designer series paper that you buy two packs. We've talked about this, but if anybody we tend to hoard all this beautiful paper, right? Because we're afraid we're going to use the one pattern we're going to find a card for and we're not going to have enough to make that card. So we never use any of it. I know you're guilty of this because I have done it for years. Well now, <coughs> instead of just buying one pack of designer paper, if you can swing it, just order two. What I find is not only do I use that second package of designer series paper, but I also use the first one. Like, I don't know why, it's like a mind game, but it doesn't freak me out that I'm gonna use up all of my designer series paper. And especially, you should be decorating these envelope flaps that helps you go through the paper. And for those of you that are hoarding paper, please know that a lot of our papers, a lot of any of the designer papers from Stampin' Up! or on the market are very trendy patterns and colors. So if you're hoarding your designer series paper, you're gonna end up in a couple years with something that's out of date. And you know, like the avocado appliances from years ago. <laughs> yeah, that's what your cards are gonna look like. <laughs> I'm sure your cards will be better than that, but you know what I'm saying, right? Here we go. Doesn't that just make this is pretty, but now add that, holy cow. I think we could do probably Let's find, is this our coastal cabana? Oh, this is our misty moonlight. We put the coastal fan away. Where did that go, you guys? Oh, here it is. I think that we should have a snowflake. Where did my piercing mat go? Do you see that? Here it is. Kind of a mess tonight. But in light of the fact that I'm, like, going crazy with COVID side effects, I think I'm doing pretty swell. <laughs> what do you guys think? And how about some of these pretty little ones? I love these. Just gonna fill those in. Look at how pretty that is. Whoops. Fill in some of these little ones right here like that. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Okay. So we've got this beautiful little card. Super easy. This will wow your friends, I'm telling you. They're gonna be mesmerized by this little fun fold. And then we've got this other beautiful card. I think both of these layouts are um, Courtesy of Jody Peterson, one of my rock star stampers on my team. And I love this. I just love this. I'm going to angle this down just a little more. But other than that, add that, add those little scraps. Doesn't that make a big, huge difference in there? It's crazy. Yeah, so there is a designer series paper sale going on right now. Thank you very much for whoever started that little conversation. But I see Melissa commenting on it. Hang on a second. Let me see if I can. I've got a printout of it someplace here. Maybe I don't. I thought I did. But anyways, if you go to the Stampin' Up! store, that's one of the big things that's right on the website is all the paper that's on sale. There's, I don't know, I think there's like 12 different kinds of designer paper that are 15% off right now. So yeah, I don't know where my flyer is, but you can see it on the website. I know you guys are really kind of good at that stuff. Okay, so I am going to award prizes now. I'm sorry I forgot to do that. I usually do it right at the beginning. And let me move these out of the Remember, this is the website. This is my blog. You can head over there. There's an online ordering button in the right-hand column. Click on that. It'll take you right to my Stampin' Up! store. If you're on another device that isn't showing you a right-hand column, you can just scroll down until you see my picture. Right above that is my signature. It says order. Click here to order with me. You'll find that. This is my current host code. If your order is under $150, please use this code. 
If your order is over $150, don't use this code. You are going to get some Stampin' Rewards, and I definitely want you to have those. And remember, between now and the 31st of October, where did my mini catalog go now? Oh my lord, I'm such a mess. I don't know where it went, but it's here someplace. Mini catalog. Um, the Happy Hello stamp set. Here it is. It's covered up by the beautiful designer paper. Between now and October 31st, when you order this, a Merry Hello, or I'm sorry, when you order $150, I'm going to give you this Mer a Merry Hello as a thank you gift. So keep that in mind. This thing is adorable. Okay. Now, we are going to do prizes. <coughs> Hang on a second. First of all, I wanted to let Sandra, I think it was Sandra, Sandra, did you send me the stamp set? It was either you or Connie Mariki. So Sandra Moran or Connie Mariki, I can't remember which envelope I pulled this out of. Oh, let me look. It's right over here, I think. Kareem. It was Kareem Mariki from Hawaii. She actually included this in something she sent to me. Isn't this sweet? This is a Wisconsin state stamp set. We have the Dells with all the rock formations. Wisconsin, you betcha. <laughs> we have a badger, a cow, cherries, Wisconsin, a little map deal, and map or um, the state outline, Lake Superior, cheese in both solid and line art, and America's Dairyland, which is exactly what Wisconsin is. And this you betcha, you guys, you know what's funny? That reminded me of um, my father. My father used to say, you betcha, a lot. And so it was like, aw. And then I started remembering other things that he used to say. He used to come, he, he would always say, um, now I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. And it's like, everybody was like, whoa, what's happening here? Uh, but my dad used to say that a lot. And he always came home with fabulous stories. My dad was a truck driver. My mom was also a truck driver. They double teamed um, an owner operator. They owned their own truck and they double teamed it. And my dad would come home with just story after story every single time. Because let me tell you, there is a lot of crazy nonsense that goes out there on our highways. And we got to hear about everything that happened to them. And it was it just brought back some fond memories with just the you betcha. It's funny how little things pop into your head and you go off on a tangent with them or Maybe I'm the only one that happens to. I don't know. Squirrel. But anyways, it brought back some fond memories. And so um, I just wanted to shout out to all our truck drivers. Um, you guys are essential workers too. We wouldn't have our products in the stores if we didn't have truck drivers. So cut them some slack. They put up with a lot of crap from crazy driving people. And they are really professional drivers. They're going to have bad A loading dock and it had stopped traffic on one of our main streets out here in Menasha and I watched him and he backed it in and pulled it forward, backed it in, pulled it forward and I just was looking at that like my father is rolling over in his grave right now that you can't back that trailer in there <laughs> and then I started crying but isn't that sweet that happened a couple years ago it was just so weird anyways thank you so much Kareen this is really cute then I got this cute little postcard and this came from my friend Sharon Jones. And Sharon lives in Sulphur, Georgia. And she was affected by the hurricane. And she said, Kelly, I wanted to let you know I survived the hurricane, but had a lot of trauma to my house and yard. Trees down all over. Prayers needed. Lots of love, Sharon. And Sharon, sending you lots of prayers and love that you get through this and it's not too expensive or too crazy. But I was just thinking about you the other day. I'm like, I have not heard from Sharon in a while. I hope she's okay. So I am sending you my best. And I think I'll even send a card out in the mail to help brighten your spirits. Thank you for letting me know what's going on with you. Because I was concerned. Then Debbie says her husband is a local truck driver. Constructions. Yeah, our truck drivers are important. They're very important. This is a super cute card I got from Judy Brown. Look at how sweet that witch is with that cat on that broom. Happy Halloween. And she says, please recycle if you wish. And I definitely 
will use this again, Judy. Thank you so much. One of my little kidlets will love that. Then uh, look at this gorgeous card. This comes to us from Mary Swanson. She's from Stevens Point. Look how beautiful that is. I love the frame around the um, hammered metal embossing folder. And then, of course, this paper was so pretty. It's just beautiful. And it says, Kelly, you make me smile. Thank you so much, Mary. This is just a beautiful card. And then we got another gorgeous one from Jamie Lency. And Jamie is out of Escalon, California. Is this not gorgeous? It says, thanks so much for the $25 credit I won. Jamie is a member of my team, and she won a $25 gift certificate from me. So every time we have a team meeting, I do a whole bunch of door prizes, and we do recognition and drawings within the recognition. And I want to say... I can't remember if Jamie recruited someone or if she promoted to a higher title. But anyways, she just wanted to send me a thank you card. That was so pretty. Very, very, very. Thank you, Jamie. And let's see, we got a little bit more mail here. Oh, this is so cool. This is by Kathy Sheldon. And you remember our paper pumpkin kit? When you uh, use the cracker boxes, you had to punch out all these little triangles. And Kathy took them and glued them onto a card base and used our last paper pumpkin kit to make this amazing card. Is that not the coolest thing ever? And then she's got the trick-or-treat on the inside. But how sweet is that? I love that. What a great use of all the scraps, right? And then I got this diamond painting from Mary Lynn Cox. And she said that I give her so much that she wanted to send me something back. And this is actually on a canvas, and it's called diamond painting. I had to ask her about it. And then my friend Rachel is also going to help her. She's been working with me a lot lately. She says, yeah, I do too. And I just love it. It's very therapeutic. So isn't this cool? It's a little owl. So Mary Lynn, thank you so much. This is just precious. And I can see all the hard work that went into it, right? Very cool. Then I wanted to share a few swap cards. While I was at the Michigan event, um, Deb Schneider gave this beautiful swap card to me with that cute little polar bear. It uses the embossing folder that's part of the Snowflake Splendor suite. That's my online class this month. And then we have another really cool swap card. This one is from Gwen Duckworth. She was also at the um, event in Michigan and gave me this beautiful swap card. I'm kind of tilting it down so you don't get the glare off the lights. I hope that's okay and that's a good angle. And then another one is from Tracy Jacobs. She was from Elkhart, Indiana. She made this swap card and gave it to me. These were all gifts, you guys, because Dina and I did not take swap cards, but people were giving us gifts, and it was just so... Stampers are the nicest people, right? And then this one is from Kathy Stefke. Look at how gorgeous that is. I love how she used the ornate garden um, die and then put the stitched rectangle. I hope you guys can see that. The stitched rectangle in there, the forever greenery. This is the stitch so sweetly. Like this card cost $400. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is outstandingly beautiful. So thank you guys so much for those swap cards. I really appreciate them. And I will definitely be sharing these. So that's cool. Do we need a little unicorn action? I love my little unicorn. <laughs> okay, then... I said prizes and instead I did mail. I didn't do prizes yet, did I? No, I'm sorry about that. I'm just a little discombobulated. I guess the Rona's getting, eating my brain or something. <laughs> Whatever, right? Okay, so I've got two sets of prizes I'm going to send out because last week I was live, not live. And then I need to do prizes from last week for those of you that commented, shared, and ordered. And then also from the previous week. What are you guys drinking tonight? I've got my strawberry lemonade. That's my Optavia drink that I absolutely love. Oh, that's another funny thing that happened to me last week. I kind of lost my taste. 
on Friday, you know, you're supposed to, that's supposed to be one of the first signs that you have the Rona is that you lose your taste. But I got it like, well, almost a month after I was done having the Rona. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Okay, so first prize here. This goes to Kathy Goodnow of Gorham, Maine. Kathy left a comment on one of the last two weeks. I didn't keep track of that, but I pulled from both of them. You're going to get a set of these Tuel Tidings glitter enamel dots in the mail. So congratulations. And then, let's see. Um, we have, for sharing from the last two weeks, our winner is going to be Suzanne Scott of El Dorado, Illinois. I'm pretty sure Suzanne is watching tonight. I could be wrong. You're going to get a pack of this Flowering Foils Specialty Designer Series paper. Now, Suzanne, you can go on Pinterest and do a search for the name of this paper, and you're going to find five gazillion ideas on how to use it. I am going to be cutting this down to four by six to mail it to you because... Do you know to mail a 12 by 12 pack of paper like this costs over $10? Yeah, that's not reasonable, <laughs> right? That's like insanity. Okay, next, um, that was for a share. And then we have this stamp set was donated by Ingrid Harrington. It is a celebration set from two years ago called So Happy Together, and it is stinking adorable. And again, you can go on Pinterest and do a search for So Happy Together, Stampin' Up, and find a gazillion ideas with this little jewel. Our winner for placing an order in the last two weeks is Chrissy Lindsay from Houston, Texas. This is on its way to you. And I'm also going to include a roll of this green ribbon. And I think this was donated by Ingrid Harrington, too. But I didn't write that on here, so I can't remember anything. <laughs> you guys know how I roll, right? So, green ribbon and a frog set on its way to you, Chrissy. Let me get your name back on here. And then... We have, um, for one of the two weeks, commenting, I've got some holiday rhinestone basic jewels. These are going out to Chris Buob, B-U-O-B, of Cheney, Washington. Gosh, I can't even read my own writing. So watch for those on their way to you. And then for sharing my video, I've got, whoops, I shouldn't show it. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, Bernice. Um... This is the Bird Ballad Laser Cut Tin with cards in it. And I'm going to show this to you. This was a product line from last catalog. You get some cards and envelopes in here with this nice little tin. Makes a great gift or you can keep your own stuff in there or do whatever you want with it. But I'm going to send this off to Bernice DeAnthony of Bakersfield, California. She's winning this because she shared my video. <clears throat> either last week or the week before. Let me get this put back together and get Bernice's name back on here. And I'm going to move this stuff, you guys. It's going to start messing up my computer. And then last but not least, for placing an order, I have this Tags, Tags, Tags stamp set. Now, you could use this by itself, but there's also a set of dies that goes with this. And Aris Strine, you are the winner of this fabulous little tag stamp set, and Eris is from the Villages in Florida. So congratulations, ladies. I will get all of this fun mail out to you tomorrow. Tonight I am going to be editing holiday or snowflake splendor videos and getting those uploaded. <clears throat> so I am ready for that online class to go out faster than it has ever gone out in its life, in my life. So I'm going to be ahead of the game so I can go hunting on Wednesday. I'm going to flip the camera around. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I'll tell you when you can open them. Here we go. I'm back. I'm still sporting my crown. There we go. Okay. okay, I didn't mess anything up, but I have to change my glasses because now I can't read the little things here. Oh, my goodness. Glasses, craziness. Yeah. All right, you guys. <coughs> If I missed any of your questions, please feel free to ask them right now. I am looking at my screen, and I'm sorry that I didn't have the messages on here. Oh, and now they're here, but I think my screen is locked up. 
I'm telling you, Facebook is not my friend lately. <laughs> Marcia says congratulations to all the winners. Yes, I love it when you guys do that. I'm always a big person. I'm happy for the winner, even if it's not me, right? Somebody has to win and somebody has to lose. And we're not all getting trophies here. That's not how I roll. <laughs> oh, my silly little goofy smile. I feel like I have to do this. There we go. We're good now. <laughs> Anyways, I hope my face goes back to normal. If it doesn't, it's not the end of the world, right? But I mean, it should, right? Like, I'm kind of counting on it. I think he this too. I don't know if he'll be okay with that. You might have to find a new wife. <laughs> Linda says, you already got a bear. Now what are you hunting for? Oh, it is archery hunting season here, Linda. We are deer hunting with a bow and arrow. And next to bear hunting, it is my next favorite type of hunting. Because here's what I do. I go sit in a tree out in the woods. And I get to see all kinds of wildlife that I would never see if I wasn't sitting in a tree out in the woods. So I get to see raccoons, little families of raccoons. I've seen foxes. I saw a badger one time. <clears throat> Excuse me. I saw a wolverine. Um, I've seen bears while I was deer hunting. And then I see deer. And the deer are usually pretty safe. I've been bow hunting for about 17, 18, maybe 20 years. And I've only ever gotten one deer. So they don't have a lot to worry about. <laughs> bow hunting is really hard. So, oh, and Marlene's asking me, what is wrong with my face? No, um, I have fluid in my middle ear that caused my face to swell up. So my lips and my face are kind of swollen. My eye is swollen. It doesn't blink right. That's what the doctor told me. So hopefully it's not. No, Diana, I don't have Bell's palsy. I'm telling you, that is not going to happen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, it's just fluid in my middle ear. So anyways, um, Chris says her brother is a big bow hunter in Wisconsin. Where does he go, Chris? We go over right in the very center of the state. Um, I do take my phone with me. So here's what I do when I'm bow hunting. You guys might know this about me already, but um, I don't tend to set, I don't sit still really well. Okay. I know that's probably shocking. <laughs> so hang on, I'm trying to swallow here. So um, yeah, I use a compound bow. I don't use a... Um, what do they call those things where you just pull the trigger? I can't even remember now. I don't use one of those. I have a pull it back and hold it and look through the peep sight and put the little dealy whopper in the corner of your mouth and poom. Um, I use that kind of bow, compound bow. And I take my Kindle with me and I read. So I sit in a tree and I read. And because it's fall in Wisconsin, you can hear the deer coming from quite a ways away. Or the squirrels, which the squirrels, it's always squirrels. Always squirrels. And you're like, your heart starts racing and you get so excited because you just know there's a deer coming. And it's a stinking squirrel. <laughs> so anyways, um, I sit and read a Kindle because that helps me stay still. Because I, yeah, you guys probably know that I don't sit still very well. <laughs> so when I read my Kindle, I can stay really still. I can hear things, I can look around, because you want to be careful so that you don't make any quick movements so the deer see you, right? Crossbow, yes, Renee, I do not use a crossbow. Um, I still use a compound bow. And I don't anticipate going to a crossbow unless I have some type of a shoulder injury or something that prevents me from using the compound bow. So, yeah, compound bow it is, Sue. You know it, girlfriend. <laughs> So anyways, I read a Kindle. Um, another thing that I'll do when it's not crunchy leaves in the woods, I will put in my earbud and I'll download some movies to my phone. And I can then sit and listen to my movies and I can continue to look around watching for the deer that I can't hear. So, and like I said, in the 15, 16, 17, 20 years that I've been bow hunting, I've only actually gotten one deer. That's it. I am a die-hard bow hunter that doesn't get much. My husband, on the other hand, 
He's a killing machine. <laughs> he gets here every year, but not me. But I just really love being out in the woods, seeing all the um, all the wildlife that I get to see. It's just really cool. Yeah, so anyways, I think we're done. What time is it? 8.25. I have taken up enough of your Sunday evening. I want to thank you guys so much. Oh, yeah, audiobooks, Lori. I like those too. But I am kind of a TV whore. I'm not going to lie. Like, I always have a TV on. So um, I've done audiobooks in the past, but I really like to, um, to watch movies. And somebody said, do you skin and eat? Um, I shoot the deer, and somebody else skins it and does all that stuff. And um, because as God is my witness, if I have to do that, I will quit. <laughs> my friend Dina, I told that to her one time. She's like, do you, do you gut those animals? And I'm like, as God is my witness, I will quit. I do not do that. But I will cut up the meat. Like I'll take a quarter of a something and I can cut it up, you know, and package it and put it in the freezer. <laughs> but no. I don't do all that stuff, but I do eat. I eat all of the everything. Um, we have had elk. We've had um, moose. We've had um, cougar. We've had deer, which is venison, bear. I will eat all the things or at least try it. So, yeah. Um, everybody's saying, please take care of yourself. You guys, just so you know, I am getting enough sleep. Like, when I'm awake, I'm working hard, okay? But that's just my personality. But if I'm working hard and suddenly I'm like, oh, I'm kind of tired, I go take a nap. I've done that many times this last week. So I am still taking good care of myself. My family is really on my butt to take care of myself because I tend to, you know, kind of run myself a little ragged. But I can't do that right now because this damn COVID, I'm telling you, it is still kicking my butt. I mean, I feel good. I feel fine tonight, except the goofy face and the swollen face, and ugh, my throat is starting to drain. That's why I'm like, I can't, I can't talk. <laughs> but I am getting better. I mean, I feel good. I've been doing things. I went for a bike ride last week and walked through my nature preserve arboretum. That was super fun. I haven't done that since I got sick on August 22nd. So that's pretty good. So yeah. I'm working on getting myself better. Um, I hope you don't get the COVID. You know, I never really thought too much about it. Like, I'm a healthy 55-year-old woman who's in good shape. Um, I really didn't think about my rheumatoid arthritis as being an underlying, whatever they call it. See, I can't even think. Um, underlying condition that would cause more problems for me. Yeah. Is your hair falling? Is, it, is my hair falling out? No. But I did get my hair cut, you guys. Doesn't it look nice? It's all healthy again. Don't you love it when you get your hair cut? It's like, oh, it feels so good. All the frazzly ends are done. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I think my husband, I just heard him come in. He made pork roast and potatoes. And then while he was out in the garage, I took the, um, the liquid from the pork roast and I made some gravy. And then I whipped together some brownies with nuts because those are my favorite. And I'm going to go have some brownies. And I think he just came in the house to eat his supper. Autoimmune disease. That's it. That's what it is. Thank you, Sherry. But yeah, I never really considered that I had an autoimmune disease. Like I had some rheumatoid arthritis and I take some medication for it. And I'm also taking hydroxychloroquine, which is supposed to be the miracle drug for COVID. Well, I can tell you that that don't work. <laughs> I take it twice a day and I got it. Um, but yeah, I just never really considered that I was at risk to have more complications, I guess. Right? Because you always think that you're not. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay. It's time to go, you guys. I'm going to go see my husband. I'm going to get my photographs taken, everything loaded up on my blog, hopefully tonight. So you guys will be able to find that. And again, I thank you so much for being a part of my world. You guys make me so happy. And um, Stampers are the nice people. And I'm just glad that I surround myself with really nice people. Thank you for following me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for ordering. Thank you for commenting. You're fabulous. And thank you for the get well wishes. Right? 
and it's getting better. It's almost, it's almost normal. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. I just did the next kit class go online. The kit class on um, Friday, Ashley and I are doing a blog hop with um, <clears throat> the Sweetest Times kit. So we'll tell you all about it. We'll, I'll show you a project. You can hop over to her blog. She'll show you a project. And I'm planning on, I've got dates. Um, we're going to go live with it on Friday. I might have it loaded on my website before that so you can buy it ahead of time. And then the PDF will go out on 1023. And the kit, I'm planning on having everything cut in here, packaged and out by the 26th. It's hunting season and Kelly needs to keep her life in a row so she can take a little bit of time off <laughs> and go see my mom who's got the COVID. Anyways, you guys have a wonderful week. Thank you so much. Thanks, Sarah. I'm so happy to see you here. I miss you too. We need to do something. I don't know what, but we can't do anything, right? Nobody wants to spread the COVID around and I don't think I can get it or give it for a couple more weeks. I don't know. Who knows? Thank you so much, Cindy. I really appreciate it. Good night, you guys.